Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I am going to show you how I designed and built this 3D printed dart ring light. Stay tuned for the video. Let's start with 3D printing. So these are all the parts we're gonna need to put all this together. I have the frame parts. It consists of seven 3D printed parts. We have the three legs, which will connect to these three points in 120 degrees. And then I have some 3D printed pins. I will use these to glue them together. So as you can see on both sides of each of these part, I have some holes. And these pins nicely fit inside. And I will just glue them in and glue them all together. So let's do this now. So the next step is to screw up with two screws each of these to the ring. For this I will use 12 mm M3 screws. With this now basically the frame is done. I can just put it over the dust table and that's it. So let's try it basically on. I will bring the table. As you can see it fits nicely. I will use some screws to screw in from the sides and then it will be done. The only thing which left is putting on the LED strip all around. And that's it. Let's do this as the next step. I will just use a standard 12 volt LED strip. As you can see, it's cold white, so it will be nice and bright, most probably. I need 1.8 meter long LED strip, so I will just glue it up into the angular surface, and we are done. I will start from the bottom, and then this fade. Uh, the wire can just go down. So let's, let's just glue it on. important to mention that you can only cut the LED strip on certain points where you can see the scissors here. Basically in this case with this LED strip you can cut it after each and every third LEDs because these three LEDs are in, connected in series so this is this is really important to mention. So this this LED strip come, comes with a dimmer 
So in case it's too bright or if the LEDs are getting hot, because uh, honestly speaking, LED strips should always be cooled and you should ideally glue them on aluminum surfaces or things like this to, to conduct the heat generated by the LEDs. But due to the reason that we have here this dimming circuit, we can, we can just set it to 50, 60, 70 percent of the, of the power and then most probably it will not heat or it will not overheat and, and the LED strip will last forever. So let's connect it up. I will just plug it in and let's see how it, how it works. And yes. And I can just increase the brightness. I can turn it off completely and I can increase it to full. So let's put it on and now let's test it. I installed it on my garage wall. There are two options to power it. One of them is I 3D printed a, a housing for a drill battery. You can just connect it. It's a 12 volt battery. The other alternative is using a 12 volt adapter. You can, you can just plug it in here and then it works wired. So let's still turn it on. No all the lights are also on in my garage, so let's see it at first in, in daylight, I would say. This is no full power. So there are no shadows whatsoever, it works really well. And now let's turn the garage light off. And this is now in almost completely darkness. There is only a really little window on my, on my garage. And as you can tell, it, it works really well. No shadows whatsoever. Let's look at it closer. I am pretty pleased with it. Okay guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. There will be a link in the video description below to download the 3D printable files and then you can build it yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and I hope I see you next time. Bye.